Well, good morning and good afternoon. I'm Scott Burroughs with Burroughs Director Service. We're here today in LaGrange relocating a Jitney engine locomotive and a flatbed or flat car trailer. Uh, both vehicles are immobile, so we used our uh, heavy duty wrecker and we elevated both the vehicles one at a time off the tracks, loaded them onto a flatbed trailer moved a couple of hundred feet down the tracks and we've set them down in a place for a better utilization of the resources here. I'm Bob Whitman, chairman of the Ohio Valley Railroad Historical Foundation that operates the LaGrange Railroad Museum at 412 East Main Street in LaGrange and Kentucky and we're in the process now of moving the jitney and flat car in behind the caboose and then we're going to roll back the uh, engine to put right in front of the uh, dining car which uh, Larry Chandler and uh, uh, Carnell Woosley have graciously spent a lot of hours up here in painting and everything is looking beautiful and then we're going to put uh, the lettering on it and have everything looking great for the public. My name is Larry Chandler and as Bob has pointed out, Mr. Woosley and I have uh, undertaken to uh, paint the railroad cars. Uh, to make this end of LaGrange beautiful. We, uh, as with any project of this size, there's a lot of people to thank, and I need to acknowledge some people. The warden at the uh, Rotor Correctional Complex, Ms. Ravon Sims has graciously allowed us to use inmate labor. The farm center manager, uh, Tim Moore, transports them to and from the uh, work site every day, then the warden Aaron Smith at the Kentucky State Reformatory has allowed us to use his bucket truck to allow us to get up high here and get some of the paint job, uh, get the paint job done on top. And then uh, Scott Jordan, we owe a big special thanks because he's allowed us to use Cornell Woosley, who as you can see, is a mastermind behind all of this. <laughs> I, I think if you uh, look at walking LaGrange, you can walk from the History Center through the center of town, have lunch, walk down to the Railroad Museum, and have a glass of wine at the Little Kentucky Winery, which is now in the uh, depot. It'll be a good afternoon for you. Hello, my name's Cornell Woosley. I've been around LaGrange most of my life. And uh, I was approached by Mr. Chandler, who was uh, the warden at the KSR when I first started working there at the school, at the uh, Collision Center, as a teacher. And uh, he asked me if I would come up and help take care of part of the train painting and oversee that. I must say it's one of the largest projects that we've done as a group or on my own. Uh, I also go with, uh, Mr. Bob to church at Southeast here in LaGrange, and he had discussed that with me also. And um, so we agreed that we would take on this big project, and uh, I must say it's going very well. I'm impressed with the progress, and it's moving faster than I ever thought it would. Um, today, we're moving the engines back and actually building a train as a display here. And then we're going to take the little engine and the car and put it behind these. And uh, that is going to become another display and possibly a stage for events at the winery. Hi, I'm Karen Eldridge, the Executive Director for LaGrange Main Street. And we are so excited. Today is a accumulation of several years worth of hard work. Um, unfortunately, I have used up all my favors with Larry Chandler. He says he's going to avoid me from now on. Um, but he has made it possible to help 
we wanted to work with the railroad museum and have this end of town as our focal point um, to book in with the history center and with the railroad museum those are our bookends and it's important that they're they're beautiful and that they're operational and they're strong and so this is an opportunity to be able to do that and so we have the new uh, wine tasting room like the little Kentucky River winery and Teresa and David Weiler who are from Bedford are actually opening that up they're operating the in the future they want to have events on Friday nights music and so the chitney is going to be moved back today is what we're doing today and it's going to become a band stage and they'll have they're going to enlarge the deck so then we'll be able to have people out and enjoying the evenings here but what's also important they're open six days a week so now the railroad museum has help they're able to be open six days a week also so it's it's just a wonderful coming together of the community and we have Burroughs garage here that's helping to well they're not helping they're actually doing the moving of the railroad cars as uh, something that we could not have gotten done without their help and you'll be able to see the work workmanship on the trains are just beautiful we've had They've been painted in the past, but because of Cornell's expertise with the metals and the um, painting the cars that he normally does.